Welcome to Dyson Sphere Program. My name is Nidals and I am going to bring you the final masterclass for now for this uh, amazing game. And uh, what uh, what we're going to do is uh, just finish up on the sciences we've done. Basically, all we can do, we get done all the logistics from starting game to end game. We did the colonization of the planets with polar hubs and automatic Dyson Sphere Builders. We've done all of the science in structured build in two per second. We've done quantum chips and now we have just one teeny tiny little thing back that is tying it all together, making into the green science because the green science is by far the worst, best, most complicated one. And here you have the build. This is going to give you two green science per second with only raw inputs coming in and it's super complicated but and it also took a long time to build but i'm i'm really happy with this it just has so many quirks and things so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do like i've done for the previous ones and i'm simply gonna fire it up and then explain as we go along first though i think it's uh, valuable to just look at this one and see so the interesting thing about the green signs compared to the other ones is did you actually get two green signs for one of each input the other ones are kind of the other way around, one for one, uh, or but in this case, or even here, it's two to one. So you can think, like, oh, that's easy. It's just one in, but you get two out. Wow, that's easy. Which also means that you are going to need one quantum chip in order to get two green signs. That means I refer you back to my previous masterclass where I did two one quantum chip per two seconds. So what you need is just build that thing, pipe one out from the quantum chip build into this build because I'm not going to be building the whole thing one more time but that means it's basically uh, you just basically build that previous build step down the blueprint drag a line over or let the robot do the work the essence of this build is that I want to have as little robot interaction as possible the reason why I do that is because every time you have like several different processes that each do something and they're being used for different things then suddenly you might run out of a uh, of a subcomponent here as long as you feed in the base materials which you should always have enough of then you're going to have a very constant supply so that's it and that means it's also what is also interesting about this one is that since this one is primarily we are going to skip this part because we already did it then it's going to be actually a graviton lens build that means as soon as you uh, get done with the purple science and want to head into the green science or the first thing you want to do is build graviton lenses so you can build the very first warpers this blueprint you can just stamp it down build it and then you got the warpers then you get the warpers going and then even if you don't have the quantum ships you're still going to be have, able to accumulate some some uh, some some warpers from the graviton lenses pretty damn neat now uh, that will get you the first things for example if you run out of a specific material or want some rare materials in and if we go back i wanted to show you the logistics process here one other thing is i am using the assembly machines mark ii instead of assembly machines mark iii some people would want to have that and it is also possible tech wise to get that before because it only technically requires here uh that one but the thing is in my experience as soon as you get the information matrix this is not your first priority in terms of quantum chips your first priority in terms of quantum chips is actually getting green signs and only once you have green signs operational then you'll start going to this so if i assumed that you've done this first i would be making a wrong assumption if you're playing it right or right assumption if you're playing it wrong either way Let's uh, fire this one up and just uh, have a go at it. I am saying in this build, I am uh, requesting everything locally. You will be requesting it local, global, whatever it, it fits for you. And I am just going to go in. That's totally not what I wanted. I wanted to do that one. And if you look at this one, I am using the fire ice build for the for the for the first one here. So that is just a thing that I've decided to do. The first thing that happens is this compact build. This is actually a green motor build, this isolated thing, and it's super crisp. It's so tightly packed. Usually it would be further out, but now it's really nicely packed. The way it does is the iron comes in here, gets turned into gears, gears go on the outer belt. Then the iron continues and goes into the motors. The motors use the gears we already have plus on the inside here we have copper flowing through and the magnetic no just the magnets and then we get the magnetic coils on this intermediate belt that will flow down here so at this point i'm actually i'm continuing the copper even though i'm not using the copper but i'm going to use it further down the line so i just let it pass through 
even though it's not going to be used beyond this point. And then we have on either side, we have iron and iron and what is it, gears and magnetic coils here going in. And that becomes part of this, which also supplements with some more magnetic coils. And then we have all the way down here, we are now getting magnetic coils out at this point. Let's have a look at the ratio. This is one every two seconds. So it's one, two, three, four magnetic coils. No, electromagnetic engines coming down the line i have put these markers on these memos as you can see that's just going to make it easier for you for uh, when you look at the blueprint and if you look at it and let's say this one is empty and you go like what was supposed to be there you just look at it and they're like ah sugar cubes except that is this a sugar cube yeah it's sugar cubes cool and this is also one thing that i'm actually really proud of how, how tight it can be done what is basically coming in here is the electromagnetic turbines as well as the copper that we just sort of passed through that will go into this part and the only thing that's missing now is the um is the graphene now i am deciding not to use the alternate recipe with unipolar magnets for this one because i don't expect that the first thing you have is magically going to the furthest end of the galaxy and picking up stuff and bringing it in here no that's something you do later on so i'm gonna have to uh, go with the ordinary recipe which requires the electromagnetic turbines over here we have the graphene this is made by sugar cubes and it has a surplus of hydrogen the surplus hydrogen is actually turning out to be a bit of a problem but interesting nonetheless this one is let's see it is two per two seconds so it's one per second one per second one per second one per second that's four per second plus these four per second going in here and becoming happy two 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 that is four per second and going in and becoming two of the pink containers or they are called particle containers per second so i get two particle containers per second but also two two hydrogen per second that i need to deal with how do i deal with that a single miniature particle collider is actually able to consume exactly two per second it is just absolutely wonderful so a single one of these machines will take care of all the hydrogen forever and ever and ever that's coming out here passing through this one going here getting filtered to that side and then being annihilated for never to be used again what happens then is that it continues on its belt and then gets supplemented from this side which is now what we're going to be setting up the next part there you see that i'm setting up the quantum chips as a requester but you could also just lead it in from another location the quantum chip build that we did previously on top of that we're bringing deuterium in and we are bringing kimberlite ore i am decided to use kimberlite ore but if you use the the graphite into diamonds then it's also perfectly fine it's not really going to change it and uh, i have built it on sort of the side of the build so you can change it as you like the way that this works is that this will be a priority so this you can see here it as it goes out it goes out on the belt boom goes out and this one will actually only supplement it so i, I prioritize the conversion here in favor of the uh, the ones that gets set in here now back here from the iron lines i have just dragged it over because i'm going to need it again so we have a weird mixture here what actually happens at this location is that this kimberlite is passing through and just passing down the line i get the iron that goes through and that goes into these locations where it will need a lot of iron but not really not a lot of iron in the grand scheme of things but it'll just pass all the way around iron down here and around and in looking good and then a lot of deuterium which will go on the other belt which passes through and goes into the middle aside from that we look at the other side where we have the pink containers coming in now this is stalled because it's not really producing enough right now the pink containers the sorry the particle containers passing through passing through in here and into the middle so we get these eight of those building and eight of those will be making a modest one per second so at this point we are getting one per second coming out at the very end where is it coming out it's coming out there on the outside one strange matter coming out per second the strange matter going in here and then this is where we use the kimberlite the kimberlite comes out on this side and goes into this one as a set if you instead use the graphite then you're going to be using a bit more but then it'll just sort of stick out or a bit reach a bit into there so that's not a big deal but in the end we get the the strange matter as well as the abundance of diamonds coming in here making a sweet number of graviton lenses now if you're just building this and you don't have the quantum chips built this is a great build and in and of itself without sort of the added part here for the green science because this will get you the first graviton lenses that you need for just the very first warbers in order to set up your first supply chain for for example kimberlite and fire ice that you need or organic crystals you do need that you want to use for another build 
So those are definitely some of the things that you want to get that up and running as fast as possible. And uh, when you then have the quantum chips from the previous build that I did in my previous uh, previous masterclass, then you will be able to export these in and they will go around on this side. Let's see. Let's get one. Let's get one. Come on. You can do it. I want to see one flowing on this belt. There we go. One green lens popping in here, getting consumed and turning into a lot of green signs. Now it does take quite a while and by quite a while I mean like 20 minutes or something for this one the entire thing to fill up but what I did do I did test it and I let it run and run and run and run and what actually happens at the end is that every single tower will be fully functional and I will get exactly two signs per second which will be going out here on the outer lane and going back the brilliant thing about this I mean there are so many brilliant things sorry to uh to, to say that but the fact is and this is with all of these you can build this design if you don't like two signs per second green signs then just stamp down a couple more of these and that that will get you started but two signs per second that's what i would recommend getting maybe i would make two signs per second for the signs and then another two signs per second just converting fully into warpers now that you have that and so that you keep it isolated your science and your warper technology completely isolated I think that might be a good idea but that's really up to you and then you instead of bringing it back here you could just bring it back and then continue down here and make it into just the warpers and then bring the warpers back and then you have warpers for days and weeks and hours and for the rest of your series night has fallen and so has uh, night has also fallen on my Dyson Sphere program uh, content in for now I feel that I've done everything that I can do in this game that mean we have uh, in this series we have 10 different uh, Dyson Spheres around different stars we have 60 signs per second we have 12 rockets per second it is just an absolutely crazy build and it's actually somewhat performing running at 24 25 frames per second which i think is pretty amazing hello auto save so at this point it is going to be i have wrapped up my let's play over on twitch and i am also wrapping up my master classes of course if there's more things that you want to see to this game shout it out in the comment section and i'll be happy to provide it right now i just don't i can't come up with more things that need the tutorials for and the let's play is also pretty finished we can run around and fixing bottlenecks forever and ever and ever but ultimately that is where we are just a context on here where we are on this we are up to level 43 on this and we're using a total of 6.99 or 7 percent of the ore being mined so we also have pretty close to infinite resources everywhere we uh, we are mining so there's nothing more for me to do in this game and uh, as the sun comes up in the on on our as the sun rises on our build the sun sets on my uh, Dyson Sphere program content in for now but when a new major patch comes out and maybe enemies as has been hint eluded more new tech all of that things maybe we'll come back well I want to come back because I absolutely love the game and I want to thank you for following the series and if you like it well be sure to hit the like button on uh, this probably final video maybe i'll do like a showcase of, of things base tour and that kind of thing but who knows if you're interested let me know thank you for watching i will see you guys in the next episode until then take care and stay effective